Welcome to the Augie E Report, where everything is barely researched. One man, one opinion, one YouTube channel. Alright guys, back again with another video, so let's get started. So, my first story for the week is going to be about Rodney Reed, who was convicted of murder back in 1996. Uh, roll the clip. Tonight, ABC News was granted rare access to sit down face-to-face -face with convicted murderer, 51-year-old Rodney Reed. I know that I'm innocent. I am innocent, absolutely innocent. In 1996, the body of 19-year-old Stacy Stites was found on the side of this rural country road near Bastrop, Texas. Strangled 19-year-old Stacy Stites. She had her plans and she had her marriage coming up and now somebody's taken that away. The community stunned. Rodney Reed was later arrested and convicted of her murder, a crime for which he has sat on death row for 21 years. The right man has been convicted beyond a reasonable doubt of Stacy Stites' murder. He's had every bit of justice that could have come to him. And over and over and over again, they say he's guilty. Reed's always maintained his innocence, and in exactly two weeks, he's set to be executed. If a new jury were to hear your case, what do you think would exonerate you? I know that if they was to hear this case, that this case it would, will itself exonerate me. Reed's new powerful legal team, the Innocence Project, is fighting for his life, saying crucial DNA evidence was never introduced at trial or collected at all. Many calling for Reed's case to be revisited, including celebrities like Kim Kardashian and Rihanna. And tonight, more than one and a half million people have signed this petition, appealing to the Texas governor to stop the execution so evidence can be investigated. The support and love that's out there for me, I try not to think about being executed. So this one's pretty simple. I think if there's evidence out there that suggests that Roddy Reed did not kill this woman, they should look into it. There's over 2.4 million signatures right now. I'm going to put the information. If you want to sign the uh, petition, that's going to be in the description below. But there's over 2.4 million signatures. So I think the governor of Texas should stop the execution. The DA should basically open up the trial or at least look into the new evidence and let's see if this man is actually innocent or not. Uh, I don't I don't think that they, they should uh, kill someone when there's this much attention, there's this much information that's out there that hasn't been um, thoroughly vetted. So, but let's see what happens. Moving on, my next story is about Popeyes. Roll the clip. Breaking news overnight, a Maryland man was stabbed in a fight over the popular Popeye's chicken sandwich. The Popeye's was packed, you can imagine. People were standing in line, they were waiting, they were wanting the brand new Popeye's chicken sandwich. And police are saying that in that line, two men started to get into an argument. The argument escalated. It is believed it was over that chicken sandwich. And so they went outside, and that is when one of the two of them took out a knife. The other was stabbed. God damn! People are getting stabbed over a chicken sandwich? I guess it really is healthier to be vegan. Wow. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I don't know why this sandwich is making people go crazy. They're fighting each other. People are fighting the employees <laughs> in the parking lots on the streets. It's getting out of control. No other chicken place is dealing with this. Okay, so Popeye's brought their famous sandwich back. Man lost his life over a sandwich this week. It's a new low for us as human beings. But, um... Like, I don't really have that much to say. I haven't even eaten this new sandwich. I'm, I'm convinced that... Popeyes and the government have done something to these sandwiches so people who are eating these sandwiches will turn out to be zombies in the next 20 to 30 years but I mean at the end of the day it's chicken it's chicken and surrounded by two buns with some sauce and pickles guys like we don't need to kill ourselves over a four dollar sandwich okay let's take it easy relax if you want to wait in line for an hour for this food all right that's up to you that's up that's how you want to use your time Okay, but uh, killing someone, even if they did do something to you, killing somebody, getting into multiple fights, there's videos of Popeye's workers now, they're fighting each other because they're stressed out. I mean, how much do Popeye's workers even make? I don't know, $10, $11 an hour? You know, they're stressed out because they're on, they're, they're on their feet all day. Then you got all these goofy people coming in asking for these sandwiches. Like, come on, come on, guys. Let's, 
Let's just relax, okay? It's just chicken. My last story for the week, uh, ASAP Rocky is going back to Sweden. Roll the clip. After an outcry of support from Swedish fans, ASAP Rocky is honoring them with a headline show set for December 11th at the Ericsson Globe in Stockholm. This may come as a surprise considering the highly scrutinized criminal case ASAP faced this summer in Sweden. The rapper and two others were jailed following a physical altercation that occurred after they were allegedly harassed by a pair of Swedish residents in June during Rocky's time in the country for his European tour. The men remained behind bars for more than a month while maintaining their innocence for what they said was an act of self-defense. Needless to say, Rocky was disappointed by the judge's guilty verdict, but will not let the incident tarnish his relationship with his fans and the country of Sweden. He is expected to include local Swedish artists on the bill and donate a portion of the proceeds to the Swedish network of refugee support groups. This show will be the first time the rapper has gone back to Sweden since his release and it probably won't be his last. Okay, so I don't know how much money they're paying ASAP Rocky. I don't know who's advising him, but this is a bad idea. I repeat. Going back to Sweden is a bad idea. It is a trap. Um, yeah, I, I don't think he should go back there, obviously. Um, they put him in jail for about over a month for some bullshit. And then now he's going back there. He wants to go back there next month to for some show. D no, man. Like, honestly, I get it. You might have a lot of fans in Sweden. They might be offering you a lot of money. But this might just be one where it's just like, you know what, I can't. Because you see what happened. They're Basically, if you go back to Sweden, they're going to try you again. Okay? Who knows if they have some sort of warrant on for your arrest out there that they're not going to tell you about. And as soon as you land there, now you're arrest, You're under arrest again. What What is the point of going to Sweden? You can get make a lot of money doing other things uh, or going to other countries to headline other festivals. You don't need to go back to Sweden for any reason at all. But hey, what do I know? I'm just on YouTube, right? But that's all I have for today. You guys have a good one.